what's up everybody? It's Chase on Two Wheels' favorite female moto vlogger that he doesn't know about yet. <laughs> Today I'm going to be answering one of my loyal subscriber questions, Jonas Swing. You've been here since the beginning, since I've had like three videos. You've been a great subscriber. And he had another question that I thought would be a great topic for a video. So the question was, when do you know that you're ready for more power? Personally, in my opinion. So my first bike was the Suzuki S40. One cylinder, 650cc cruiser. And I loved it. I thought that I would never need to change. I thought I would never need to upgrade. I love that bike. It was light, only 384 pounds wet. It uh, did all right on the highway, uh, good enough on the highway if you're going the speed limit. And it was comfortable, it was cheap, uh, to fix it was cheap and easy, parts were available. So I never thought I would need to upgrade until I started riding with other riders. Now if the other riders I rode with also had a beginner bike whether it was a cruiser or even a sport bike I may not have felt this need but because I started riding in group rides I was usually the slowest person in the group and that kind of had me thinking that I wanted a faster bike but what really did it what marked it for me was when I rode Kate's street triple R. It is still to this day out of all the bikes I have ridden over the Ducati Scrambler, over the Honda CB600, over the Suzuki Gixxer 750, over the Kawasaki Ninja 650, even over this bike I'm on now, the Triumph Bonneville T100, even over the Triumph Street Cup, even over the Triumph Street Twin, even over the, B well, obviously over the BMW 310 one cylinder. Even over the Yamaha R3. You get the idea. The Triumph Street Triple R is the smoothest, most sensitive, most comfortable, most nimble bike I have ridden yet. So that is what got me thinking, I want a new bike. I already passed the stage where I was comfortable on the highway. I, um knew a lot of the practicality i was really i had gotten to a place where i was comfortable riding and i'm not a risk taker uh, i'm pretty safe with everything so it wasn't just a matter of i feel like i'm ready it was also like yeah i think i'm ready because i don't think i would hurt myself which is a very important factor so that's when i re realized that i was ready to upgrade was because the bike that I had, the Suzuki S40 Boulevard, I trusted my riding skills, but it was not capable of doing what I wanted to do and was also capable myself of doing as far as skill wise. I could handle it, which was I wanted to go faster on the highway. Um, on my S40, I usually stayed just under the speed limit. I wasn't comfortable going any faster because it, it was just, I don't know, it just, it was very loud. It vibrated a lot uh, at those speeds. Um, it didn't deflect wind well, so I could, re you could really feel the speed on that and didn't, and it's, it's not comfortable going faster on that. And I just wouldn't be able to accelerate faster than I could on my S40. My zero to 60 time was... Um, oh my gosh, I don't even remember. I'll put a, I'll write it down he, right here in the video. And for everybody else, I mean, I guess it's different. Some people will upgrade well before they should. You can definitely argue that I did. So anyways, I hope that answers your question. Jonas Swain, thanks so much for being a loyal subscriber and watcher. I love you. I love you other guys too. The, you nice ones anyways. So anyways, I hope that helps.
When were you ready for more power? Let me know in the comments. Oh, oh, oh.